So uh, today I talk about uh, uh, micro LED, uh, you know, uh, what we are doing at UCSB. So this is shows, uh, you know, uh, 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 so basically depending on the size of the uh, uh, chip, you know, horizontal, uh, <laughs> horizontal shows the size of chip, you know. So chip size is more than maybe 500 micron, we can make big display, but the, you know, by making a smaller chip size, we can make, uh, you know, a smaller display, like a smartphone display and a watch size display okay, using the uh, maybe 10 micron chip size. But a uh, much smaller chip size, like a micron size, uh, a, a micron size LED, we can make a display for AR and VR display. So this is a comparison of the you know uh, three displays, uh, LCD, OLED display, and the micro LED display. So you can see uh, all all of category you know of uh, efficient light source, self emission, brightness, power consumption, operating lifetime. All category you know micro LED uh, display is the best, except for one big problem. Uh, right now, a big problem cost. And of course, it's so huge. That is a problem. So, so this is the main challenge of micro LED display. Uh, basically, efficiency, you know, efficiency drop uh, sharply when the size of LED chip size small. Uh, but recently, you know, UCSB, we solved this problem uh, by removing the side wall damage, also side wall passivation. So number one is uh, already we solved the problem. So second problem is uh, uh, red LED, red LED. So right now we use uh, iron gap red LED. But iron gap red LED is uh, okay when the size of the chip is more than 50 micron. But uh, if the size becomes less than 40 micron, the exchange of iron gap red is very, very small. Uh, we cannot use it anymore. So in that case, we have to develop uh, indium gallium nitride based red LED. That is uh, uh, another uh, one problem. So some other problem is uh, must transfer uh, uh, technology because uh, we have to must transfer the router uh, LED chip to make the display. So right now, uh, what kind of uh, technology is uh, good or not, still we don't know. So this is uh, another big problem. So this shows a uh, uh, PQ, PQ, PQ of uh, LED as a function of the chip size. So chip size 100 micro, you know, PQ is uh, okay, 75 percent. But if the chip size is smaller than 40 micro, 50 micro, uh, suddenly PQ EQ drop. So this uh, has been the big problem of the micro LED chip. So this is a uh, UCSB LED. Uh, LED chip structure. Uh, you can see, uh, so basically using this structure, we can make a small size chip. And uh, so conventionally, you know, you know, side wall was pass made using a diminution of the direct materials using uh, uh, plasma enhanced chemical vapor deposition. But uh, this PCVD was not good to pass back the side wall because uh, BCBD you know, uh, caused the damage of the sidewalk. And UCSB you know, found atomic layer deposition is the best to, to participate the sidewalk. So using ALD, it could participate the sidewalk. And uh, even the side, uh, chip size is very small, still efficiency is very good. So you can see uh, this photograph. If we don't do any uh, different top is a different uh, chip, uh, this is no side wall uh, uh, treatment, no passivation. So in this case, the chip set we have 40, uh, 40 micro, uh, the smaller than 40 micron, LED becomes dim, and uh, if the chip set 10 micron, no emission at all. And uh, so conventional P, uh, people use a uh, uh, plasma enhanced uh, plasma enhanced chemical vapor deposition PC. PCBD. In this case, you can see uh, if chips are less than 14 micron, no light emission. When we use the atomic layer deposition, silicon dioxide deposition using ALD, you know, even you know, even chipsets, 
10 micro still emission coming. So you can understand. So how the side of the uh, participation is important by using ALD. So you can say this is uh, also leakage time. Leakage time as a function of the chip size. You can see green one, green one is ALD, uh, smallest liquid current, and the blue is a PECBD, no? still uh, more liquid. And the difference is uh, no treatment, uh, no participation uh, of the side wall. So you can see ALD is best in the view of the leakage current, no? for, for to participate the side wall. 